Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georges George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Fucking come on! That's it, you're in for it! Our winner and the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. Don't cause any trouble for you. Ooh! Hey! Ah! Oh. They're eating moss well, on the side of the pond. You're easy time. enough on the eye. Now, well, wow, mutton's a delicacy over there. What'll it be? What are you saying? Think the lady's grown tired of your company. Lady? What lady? See her ears? She elf. And everyone knows elves are always doing something on the sly. I'm not doing anything, I swear it. I must just fetch some water. Where will you put it? Where's your jug, eh? Where's your bucket? Why don't you just tell the truth? What do you mean, why? She's a non-human. Lions in their blood. Don't let that fair face beguile you, Witcher. Pretty as a picture on the outside, she elves, but the most vile filth within. This is none of my business. Figure it out yourselves. What will we do, uh, lady? Ten more guards to get into my mind. Why is that? 
You know what they'll do to me. The best Fine. Is Go. Girls from you let this be the last town. time I see you here, you elf bitch. And even a striped box from lands across the sea. Oh, Who's a drum of hooch? Double shies. A thousand times double shies. Good sir. Mercy. Me? A witch? Uh, I made salves is all. For myself, for me aching bones. A witcher? Should have even placed sound. your faith in witchcraft. Sought out a medic instead. That I did. Surgeon took a sack of crows. For he said there were naught he could do. The sounds they helped. Is that so? You Wizardry. Well, that let's see. Dance for me, witch. I'll <sighs> put you down. Yeah. No. Oh fuck! I'm yeah. running. No more! I can't! Dance, Wedge! Dance before I put both of Not a headache again. Mercy! No more! I can't! Dance, Wedge! Dance before I put both of you! You weak you Perhaps you would stand against you have to pay much. Was it worth taking the time to that man? Name's Geralt. Patty Gruber. I'm a bookie. I trust you're here to fight. I'm ready. Hear that? A fight at last! Our champion, Archibald O'Neill, to face Geralt! Fight! Fight it tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion, the man who dethroned Archibald O'Neill. Bravo to Geralt! A beautiful bout! Wanna be crowned the best in Novigrad? Who do I gotta fight? Durden the Tailor fights every night in the outskirts where the non-humans have settled. We're already taking bets. You've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found scrawny. In what world could you possibly defeat me? The newcomer may seem all skin and bones, but remember, he defeated the sergeant to the bloody baron of Velen. Came here to fight the tailor, so let's do this. Novagraders, one and all, a momentous occurrence. Before us, in just minutes, Geralt of Rivia will face the tailor. Come here, bitch. Uncle Durden wants to sew you a new face. <laughs> just put all us non-humans in a ghetto. Who would stop them? Come on! Henceforth, the title belongs to the Drifter. If you've not had your fill of slapabouts just yet, 
You'll find other eager challengers in Velen and Skellige. You all just get off my back. Huh. Well, justice, why are you Looking for a bruising? <laughs> Leave me be. Look all pretty suspicious to me. Ah! Telling you to the last time. Go away. <laughs> Mercy! What do you want to be called? Go before they lose their mother Elven as well. Elven blood, eh? Ah! Help! Save me! I'll die! Mutant! Yes? Count Kurt Dysart. Are you here regarding the contract? Hmm. Wanted to hire a witcher, didn't you? I did, but not just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the school of the cat. Which do you belong to? School of the Wolf. Ah, yes. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Uh, no, so his name did begin with a B. Never mind. Uh, uh, to the matter at hand. Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now I've learned the building is set to be haunted. Goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghost. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble, while even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Let's talk about my reward first. I beg your pardon? Asking for coin already, but you've not done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Novigrad and he's off his head in minutes. Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, agreed. Fine. I'm willing to investigate. How do I get there? An orchard adjoins the property. The house itself you should recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Is the key. And good luck. Chew. Lay me down with barrel of beer and a copy 
You see what I do? No loitering round here! Left in a hurry, but a spectre would have attacked me already. Salt. Probably to drive ghosts away. <laughs> Pointless superstition. Magic bonds. A few days more, and it would have wreaked havoc all around. Got a free at first.
<laughs> right, Not sweat enough in the gutter. Ooh, curses! Ah. Yes? House shouldn't give you any more trouble. A little renovation and it should be fit for you to move into. Truly? Why, the estate's price just spiked sharply. What precisely was the problem? Earth Elemental trapped in the cellar. It was just trying to get out. Almost demolished the house in the effort. <laughs> Far more interesting than a ghost, that's certain. Uh, the cellar you mentioned, is it an estate to be furnished? Hard to say. Oh, we shall see. Ah, your bounty. There you are. And uh, farewell. Take care of yourself. to water the whole thing. Hope me I assist you. Went to Undvik a while ago. Found these. Well, goose kick me. These look like the real thing. Because they are. Look at the markings. Authentic. How did you get them? Wasn't easy, so I'm hoping for a good price on that armor of mine. Harman Ep Grunikan, Lieutenant General of the Second Mounted Army. Welcome to our humble establishment. A true honor to host one of such renown. I've heard the General's a connoisseur and collector of armor. This is true. And they call you a master of the craft. All too kind, sir. Truly. I, mean, I'm just... I need a suit of armor. Heavy. Able to withstand piercing projectiles. Piercing projectiles? Bolts, you mean? Mm, that ain't easy. Needs a special alloy. Tempering. The new tools. We can do it. Stoke the fire, I'll ready the rest. Bold, your worker. You allow her much. <laughs> you know how it is, General. Good help's hard to come by. We should go outside. There's business to discuss. It's always the same. I've had enough. Enough? They treat me like I'm nobody. The menial labor. Truth is, the Nilf Guardian, the one Fergus is kissing up to, I'll have to craft his armor. Yours too, for that matter. Hmm. So what's Fergus do? Horseshoes, nails, not much else he can do, seeing as he cocks up simple bones. But in the end, they call him Master. No one'd ever think I could be a skilled armorer, a human and a woman to boot. A dwarven blacksmith. Oh, that's another story.
If that's the case, stand your ground. Don't let him treat you like this. I won't. Not anymore. He can craft the Nilf Guardian's armor himself. I'll make another suit, and we'll see which one's better. I need but one thing I can't get on my own. Would you help me? Depends what it is. To finish the armor, I'll need to harden it, quench it in a bath. Oil's what we usually use, but I want to use acid. Hmm. Kiki Moors and Arch Griffins spit acid. Arch Griffins? Draconic Griffins, you mean? Baron's men came by a few days back, said they'd seen one north of Crow's Perch. It had killed some folk out there. Bound to be a notice posted for the Griffin anyway. Could kill two beasts with one stone. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Bring me the acid and I'll prove I'm better than Fergus. And I'll craft armor for you, lots of it. The kind no other armorer can. Sorry, no time to chat. I've got to finish this. I've armor to finish. We'll talk later. Looks like rain. open. Mangled wounds. Claws at work. A hand. That's it. Arch Griffin's had a veritable feast. Stopped feeding here. Move towards open ground to fly away.
Faster. Not another step, or there'll be one corpse more. What are you doing? What one does in the country, harvesting. Just switch from wheat fields to battlefields. Corpses look fresh. Some of these men, still alive a bit ago, right? Aye, they were. Wounded but breathing. Healer could have helped them, but no healers around, just us. Yeah. Just thieves and murderers. Your plowing's starting to annoy me, and I don't like being annoyed. Rally to me, boys! Come on. Move it! Why is your hair so grey, darling? Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Uh. Heard you had a griffin problem. Aye. Killed some villagers north of Crow's Perch. Folk came complaining to the Baron. He finally wearied of all the lamenting. Offered a reward for the beast's head. Good thing, too. I could use some crowns. Well, folk say all kinds of shite about you lot. But gotta give a witcher his due. Here. Fair pay for a fair day's work. Right. Lovely natural surroundings. What's that? Just sent Grandad out for some. You're back. So, got the acid? Mm hmm. Use it carefully. It's about as caustic as things come. I know. It's burned many a man where I come from. Armor's ready. Now for the last touch. We'll soon see who's better, Fergus or me. Geralt, it's done. Looks very professional. Welcome, General. Armor's all ready. Came out splendid, if I do say so myself. Rather coarse. I trust the appearance does not reflect the quality. General, I've also made a suit, if you please. What is the meaning of this?
Exactly what it looks like. Joanna crafted a suit of armor for you, General, to prove she's the superior armorer. For God's sake, Joanna! What do you think you're doing? Tamaria remains a wild land, it seems. Insubordination of this kind is not something we Nilfgaardians allow. If I may, General, I am Fergus's subordinate in appearance alone. It's what we agreed, as few would ever believe a woman to be a better armorer than a dwarf. You are right. I, for one, do not think it possible. But you are confident in your abilities. Let us put them to the test. Not on dummies, in live combat. Oh, quite a crowd. You there. Put on this armor. Uh, I'm just here to show me yours. Mine is not a request. General, I crafted this armor for a man. It can't fit me properly. Then find another to wear it. Geralt, will you help? Fine. Hope I won't regret this. Don your armor, both. I will await outside. Bloody hell, it matter where I just came here to shoot me off. Long as the bowl's full. Not my fault we ended six feet under the birches. Why do you have to play the hero? Does this look to you like armor that stops bolts? Compensate the man. Now, let us see what this other suit is. Can I live? Oh, I. But these armor's rubbish. Stan. I wish to see the armor. Not even a dent. I am not easily impressed, but I must admit you have succeeded, my dear. Where to, dwarf? You must hear this. The forge is now Miss Joanna's. She will also assume all Nilfgaardian army requisitions. Is that clear? I... As day. Your pay for the armor. I will send a man to collect it. I'll be going to my things. Just get my things. Wait. We needn't part ways, Fergus. You've been a good helper. We could go on that way. But without the lie. Hmm. We did make quite the pair. Well then, go stoke the fire. We've got a customer. He needs armor fit for a witcher. You weren't certain the armor would protect you. Admit it. Master craftsmanship something I trust in, something I strive for myself. Wouldn't have asked for legendary tools from Undvik and Archgriff and Acid if you didn't know what you were doing. Thank you for trusting me. Give us a few days and your armor will be ready. Come on, let me help you get out of that. Long as the bowl's full. Not my fault we ended six feet under the bushes. Why do you have to play the hero? Good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Take care now.
That's it, Roach. Stinks it if God in corpse to me. Her suspicions proved true. Siri had appeared in Skellig. She'd arrived from another world together with a masked mage. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Velen. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindusfjall, meaning Siri, too, might have returned to Skellig. still. Someone picked the bloom recently. Ah, uh, another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Gremist has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerge drained, with a blank stare, and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Gremist to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. What do you know about this forest? Not much. Funny, isn't it? A druid should know every tree, every bush. But even we know not to venture to some parts of the isle. We can subdue animals, but not monsters. And the word is, one has made its lair here. A lesion? An axebrim? Sadly, I don't know. As I said, those who have entered do not speak of who or what they saw. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals. Hoof prints. The bipeds. Flower. No petals. There were flowers here as well, but they've been picked. Every last one.
Someone buried him. Not skillfully, but with great care. Lots of scratches. None look lethal, though. Body's dried out as if it was drained. I knew him. It's Yara the White of Care Trolder. He died far from home. Footprints. Some fresh, others faded, all leading in the same direction. Oh, no, no! Oh, stop! Please! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is great! No! No! Stop! <sighs> Please! Stop it! That tickles! <laughs> Who can play this game, you horny goat woman? Unhand him, hellish creature. Ramond, step away from her. Ah, calm down. I've not been harmed. I came here. You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. We saw what happens to those who land in this beast's embrace. We saw Yara's body. Then you saw I buried his body as custom dictates. I did not seek his death. He, he was very old. His heart was weak. I warned him it could end that way, but he kept returning. I see through your lies. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster. I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return. With one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches. Especially not out of gratitude. Tell me why not. Is it the scars? I detest when a man smells of blood. You witches always reek of it. Fiend blood, trot blood, and these are my brethren. You're right. But unlike fiends and chorts, you... Have ample breasts and a pretty face? I know. Their lack of these attributes, is that what makes them easy to kill? It's a bit more complicated than that. But never mind. No means no, I get it. Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. And you, Ramond, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Uh, indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. Why you need all these flowers? Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. Pretty, don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must pick some edelweiss. Take one, but no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cavern cozy.
every man on the continent so bloodless. 